Some of you may recognize this geologic spectacle. It's Devil's Tower in Wyoming, established as the first national monument in 1906. Today, there are 196 national monuments across America. Not surprisingly, a highway connecting Illinois and Iowa is not one of them. But if one man gets his way, a small part of it could be. Here's CBS's Charlie DeMar. We ain't scared. Let's support this bridge. Hell Should yeah. we uh, set this out? Chad Pogracki isn't one for small or conventional ideas. Okay, hold on. And today, he's busy trying to drum up support for his latest. Pogracki has spent the last two decades aboard barges, cleaning up rivers for his Living Lands and Waters Foundation. But home is along the Mississippi. And if he gets his way, bison may roam high above the river on the I-80 bridge where Illinois meets Iowa. This might sound crazy, but I actually want the westbound lane dedicated to a small herd of bison. What would that do for this area? People would stop. I mean, right now, people are just 42,000 cars are driving over that bridge a day, and they're just going. The 55-year-old bridge is on its last legs and is scheduled to be replaced. Demolishing the bridge will cost millions. Introducing the Bison Bridge Project. Pogracki wants to raise money to turn the bridge into a national monument where bison can wander from one state to the other and people can maybe stop and stay a while. The bridge is in Congresswoman Sherry Bustos' district. Chad's not coming to this project on the day that dynamite's set to blow down the old bridge. He's, he's thinking five, six years out. She's on board and has been pitching the project to the White House. We want the Bison Bridge to be the Mount Rushmore of this region or the St. Louis Arch of this region. Why bison? There were 60 million bison roaming uh, in North America at one time, and then they were decimated down to 3,000. The Bison Bridge would celebrate the history of the land, but also because it's one of a kind I feel like it's forward thinking as well. Dan Palmer raises bison in Maquoketa, Iowa. We took a ride to see his herd. They need all the help they can get, right. both financially and support of it. He's so confident in the project, he's putting money and some of his bison behind Pogracki. If anybody can get it done, Chad can get it done. People who say Chad is crazy, what do you say to, to those people? Come up with a better idea. It's going to be great for the Quad Cities, and it's going to be a, a healthy attraction. Would you stop if you were going to see bison on a bridge? You know, I mean, I, I think most people would. There's going to be animals that live there. Pogracki's perspective may be different. There's more land to graze over here than there is in Iowa. But his vision is clear. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Moline, Illinois.